Hey there, this is Akshit Madan. Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are going to study about Dart Mixins. So Dart Mixins is a concept uh, in, a, in this programming language, which helps you do the concept of code reusability. Basically saying, in simple sentence saying, it helps you in making the code reusable, right? So you will think that, hey, code reusability can be done using inheritance also, right? That you can create one parent class. And if you are having child classes, you can just extend that child class from that parent class, right? You can make a child class, which is extending to that parent class so that you can get all the properties of your parent class. Exactly, right? But what other cons in uh, inheritance is that you cannot inherit, uh, inherit multiple classes, right? So let's say you want the properties of this class also, this class also, you may not be able to do it. But with mixins, you can get properties of two different mixins. So mixin is nothing but just consider it like a class. Right, and it helps you do the uh, member code reusability basically. And I'm taking, I'm talking so much, right? Let's just see the example, and that will be the best part, right? So let's say I create a class animal, right? And this class has certain members, member functions, right? Let's say an animal can walk, right? And this animal can actually talk, right? And this animal can also reproduce, right? reproduce okay and these are certain member functions and there can be some uh, what we can say the variables also let's define these functions like this right so this is good now this class animal can have certain parameters or what we can say some variables some properties property variables right say it has int legs right is equal to four or it can be anything, right? So I'm initializing it with zero, right? So let's say this is a simple class. Now, if I have to create another uh, class, let's say void human, right? Human. So a human can also walk, human can also talk and human can also reproduce. So I can just copy these functions and just paste it over here. And again, this human class can also have some parameter function, like some variables, right? Which is, which are going to store some values. Let's not create it, but this is all good. What, what I can see is this animal can also do these three things or this animal class also has these three same functions, which are going to do something. I don't know. Right. And this human also has these three functions, which are going to do something. I don't care what they do. Right. But the functions are same and they're kind of doing the same work, walk, talk and reproduce. Yes, you can create a uh, different inherited, different parent class, and you can uh, inherit these uh, animal and human class from that parent class, you can do it. But let's say, what we do is we create three mixins, right? Mixins, or mixin, right? This mixin is for walk, right? This mixin is for walk. And it has this void walk function. Right? We have a mixin talk, right? And this has this talk function, right? Let's create it. And we have a mix in reproduce, right? And it has this reproduce member function, right? Let's define it. So let's format it. And what we have got is we have got three mix -ins. Now what I can do is these three mixins are doing certain, certain things, right? Now what I can do is I can remove these three functions, function definitions from my animal class. Plus I can remove the all three functions from my human class. And so do you know, like if we have to do inheritance, what keyword we use? We use the extends keyword, right? In mixins, we use with keyword. So this animal class is basically coming with the properties of walk, talk and reproduce. So walk, talk, reproduce, like this. And this should be capital, like this. Now this animal class has these three member functions also. You can pass parameters, you can call them, you can do anything. Similarly, you can just use the same thing from here, copy it and paste it over here. And this is class, not void, right? And let's just format it. Yes, perfect. Now we can see the perfect thing, right? So you can see animal class. It has these three 
uh, make sense, right? It is the, now this is a human class. It has these three make sense, and here the definition of our three make sense. So basically, what we are doing is we are just inheriting the properties of these three make sense. The advantage is that you can inherit multiple mixin properties, walk, talk, and reproduce. So I hope you like this video. I hope the concept of mixin is clear. And till the next video, keep coding, keep innovating, and thanks a lot.